lights on too. Oh, what are you going to go down and pick up this way? That's what you're going to do. Make sure she's down there once you get through the gate. Get your, get your uh, white lights. Hey, okay, cover down here. Let me uh, get two ranks so I can get. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, start. I'm ready. Right, son, you got this? Let's go. Oh. Oh, almost there. Almost there. No, you're good. That's the other one you need photos of. Skip too many leg days. My thighs are burning. I should fall out right now. Maybe you can grip the camera.
You're good. Good. <laughs> Hopefully you got that. How are you guys feeling right now? Good. We got so, it though. We're tired, but. You gotta keep pushing, yeah. keep pushing through. How far have you guys made it so far? Uh, we're at uh, four miles. Yeah, four and a, and a quarter. We're a little bit high time, but hopefully we can we can make it on the on the down down slope. Hey, keep pushing all the way to the end, brother. 146, 40. <laughs> Thanks, huh? You're a beast, man. Take all your water out, we're gonna weigh your rocks. Catch on making me go faster. I look behind him, uh, like, damn it. I was, uh, can I keep running? <laughs> I underestimated how much hill training you did. I thought for sure you were gonna slow down coming back. So I start pacing. The one out, so. yeah. There's nothing in them. <laughs> Pull them out anyway. Roger. You guys oh. got an extra pair of socks in your rope, yeah? <sighs> they're, uh, they're all wet, sir. In the room, I do. <laughs> Take out the pace so you make it. Come on, hurry. Push through. Move through. Come on, go. Nichols 45. We're good. So, uh, wants to cut on the other side. There's a bay right there, right? So, for you guys Love. to be sitting there with your feet. You know, what are those called? Like shoulder lifts or whatever? Mm. It'll do it. Hard part's done. Alright, so, uh, go ahead and take down. Shoot over there to your, uh, good job. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Prop the door open, sat there, sit up. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You can't lock yourself in those with those things. I can hold it. It's right there. You should have a forty five. Yeah. That was like three oh. times you could have caught that. You ever have a really good workout with the Taco Bell? That night will never be sore the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> you get you'll be sore as shit, you know why? Because there's no nutritional value in Taco Bell. It's fucking they have Grind up meat and they add water to it. I'll give them the microwave. I'll give them the microwaves. 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 I'll give them the keep that mentality about the microwaves. I'll give them the microwaves. I'll give them the microwaves. i so you might have to hustle up like you did this morning, not to get to a finish point or an end point, to get to a start point for a combat operation, cross the LD. So with that mentality there, when you cross the start, that means, hey, now uh, break out the frago, ruck up, we gotta go do a mission now. Oh, sorry, so think of it that way, and I'm proud of you all on that there, but that mentality and what you gain out of this competition to become uh, a better leader, and the leader of soldiers, it's a no in that. What's that, Major? I've competed in several ones to this, best ranger competition on that deer. And, and no one at the end of the 24 mile road march with a 65 pound ruck, how to go in and do night stakes, doing math, doing demolition, putting back full of weapons together, et cetera, et cetera. Get that soon. So proud of you all and, and who you represent and the positive outcome activity here. You look here, we got cameras, we're going to sell it hard to show soldiers what's right. And, and uh, the, it also builds the unit cohesion and the camaraderie in our units as well. So, uh, and that warrior spirit Ooh. with the American soldier that we got to see too with the American soldier that has that. So, uh, I'm proud of you all. I'm glad to be out here. And I see uh, many of you on the board tomorrow. I think we got Sergeant Major split up one in the morning, one in the evening. I'm in the morning one with the uh, NCOs, uh, both of them. <laughs> I'm like, I have no further questions for you. <laughs> all right, good luck to you all. Oh, uh, oh, and you know what? Oh. Sometimes it's not luck. It's all in the bad arms might have more advantage. But we all got to be a warrior first. Sort of like a Marine, always having an infantryman first. Uh, and knowing that there uh, might be advantageous over the weaponry, as I call it. Uh, what makes you an expert is the hands-on part of it. It's the most difficult of it there to hone that skill. And maybe combat arms might have an edge on some of that there. But if uh, you were there and that there, we all got to step up our game on that. And uh, the way we present that back at home in the mentality we set where that uh, that uh, you know uh, a lot that's the type of thing we'll take back in our competitions uh, what we gain out of this and try to make better warriors future leaders better on that there and uh, I, I can tell you that you all will gain much out of that as well of what you will take back to your units uh, 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 in developing them as well when you're subordinates so uh, uh, I'll put one in my mouth and let you guys rest as a